Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn the last lesson, the last lesson in the basic of in the basic of HTML series. So, in this video, you will learn image, table, table, and form. So, without any further, let's jump to the code part. Here, I already have a new HTML tutorial folder, and I already have and I already have some some HTML file with the with the basic structure of HTML basic of, of the HTML of the HTML page. Alright, let's jump to the first one. That's going to be an image. An image is must have some some SRC attribute. Without this attribute, the image tag didn't know didn't know what image should be so in, in the browser. This alternative tag is this alternative attribute is going to replace the source the source attribute when the image is not found like for example if i put something like image.png and then in in here alt i will use image so let's see in our browser see the alt tag is replacing the image when the image is not found but if the image is found it will show the image like here image go the jpg by the way i get this from from the google you can use whatever image that you want all right we save it we see in the browsers and now the image is showing in the in the in the web browser the next thing is going to be the next thing is we are going to set the set the custom width and the custom height by default by default the showed image is is using this is using the image size but we can but we can resize it to whatever we want so if i put something like 100 and then 200 pixel so if we refresh it and as you can see it resize but we can also just change once we can just change one of it and if we refresh the website it will automatically it will automatically some it will automatically it will also automatically it will also automatically change the height and if we just change the height if I have something like H is equal to 100 and if we refresh it see it's same because the value we put is same so if I put like something like 115 we refresh and it's resize right the next thing is going is we're going to try is we're going to try some is we're going to try some hyperlink but instead of text to cover it, we will be using an image, right? Let's first make an anchor tag. The href is going to be google.com. I'm sorry. If I click it. All right. Bring this up. Oh, let's see. I, for example, I have this poetry school HTML documentation right we can put it in here and we can make the image we can make the image to be the hyperlink image source equal to image jpg and also in the vs code if if your code is outside of here you can just alt and z it will automatically redirect to the bottom Alright, let's try in the web browser. And as you can see, if I move, if I, if I, if I hover my cursor to the image, it will change. And if we click to it, it will automatically redirect to to here. And also, I get the image from here. You can go back. Alright, the next thing is going to be the table. Alright. Wait a second, I can give some comment, image, and I can make the two version of it. 
and also we can make the width and the height to be the to be the percent fold not the px so if i like 15 percent and this one is also 15 percent all right if i look in the website and as you can see all right but how about 10 percent all right now this is looks good the one is the image the one is some hyperlink all right image and we can give some PR and it's R here and the next thing is going to be the table the table is made by the table tag and inside of here we can make some simple table and we can make some more advanced table the simple table is is something like a simple table is something like tr the tr is table row right i can make some comment here the table the table tag is going to be equal to wrap all table component and then we have table not table and we have first t hat it will wrap all the table table header and next is going to be t body t body is going to be as you can guess it all the table content the tr is going to be table row and the td is going to be table data all right first we have this one tr or table row and then we like have two td td two the first one is going to be HTML, oh sorry, HTML, and the second is going to be PHP. All right, all right. Now let's see how it looks in the website. And as you can see, we have this just simple TR and T. Next, we're going to have some Rust, and then Ruby, right. Let's refresh it, and as you can see, we created some simple table. The next thing is going to be the more advanced table. This more advanced table is going to have T table and then T hat, and then it's going to have T body. All right. Oh, and I also forgot one. It's going to be before the TR. It's going to be T H T H. It's going to be table H. All right. In here, we will have T H is equal to maybe name, and then the second one is going to be the description. All right. We can make our TR here. Maybe we will create some four or five. One, two, three, four. All right. And here we can put two TD. Right. The first one is going to be PHP. Backend. Programming. Language. HTML. Markup language all right the next thing is going to be some maybe c sharp it's going to be i use it to make games so maybe game programming language and then c plus plus is going to be i don't know maybe programming language all right if we refresh it 
and as you can see we have this header the header first the first header is going to be name and this is the name and this is the data name and we have this description heading all right we have this PHP, HTML, C Sharp, C++. All right. The next thing is go is we're going to give is we're going to give this table some border. All right. Let's see how let's see how to give this table some border. All right. We can give some border attribute to this border. But later, but later. We will give this table, this table some border with some CSS. Border is equal to one. Let's see, and boom! Now the table is have some border. All right, all right. Oh, all right. The next thing is going to be the call span and the row span, but maybe we will implement it in here. Or later when we use the form. All right, let's next right now we can implement the call span and the row span. I already have some th image that I just created, and we want to make something like this one is have some image, this one is not, this one is have some image, and this one is not. All right, let's create it. All right, all right. The first one is going to have some image, but don't forget to put it in the TD. And inside of it, we will have some image is equal to image, right image. And the second is not going to have right. The C sharp is going to have some image. We can make the image to something like width is equal to maybe fifty. 15% all right if we refresh it all right all right nice nice okay the next thing is going to be this HTML is going to have some call span equal to 2 since this TR is not having some image and the C++ is going to have some call span is also equal to 2 and if we look at it all right now this is how it goes the HTML is have some call span the C sharp is have some 2 all right all right the next thing is going to be the form wait and here I will have some Separator. This one is going to be form. All right, all right. And also in this form, we will implement that some table too. All right. All right. To start a form, we can use something like form tag. And if you are using PHP or MySQL, you can put the action in here, and you can also change the method. It is it is going to be a pause or or a get. But since this is an HTML tutorial, we are not going to use that. Alright, in this form we will be having some input. So let's make something like this. Form tag is going to be wrap all form component and then the label is going to be label of a uh, input and the input is going to be input fill I think something like that and button is button to submit all right here first we can make some label and the label is have some for attribute. This for attribute is going to fill with the input ID. So for example, in here, we have input text 
with the name of username and the id is equal to username now this is the fill for the label all right and then the label is going to be username let's take a look how it look how let's take a look in the website and as you can see and if you and if your label is working then if you are click to this label it will automatically or it will automatically like clicking to the input i can example it like this see if if your for attribute is right you can you can you can instantly click the click the label and then and then writing something all right we will have something we will have some more the next thing is going to be available too but this one is going to be password password is going to be password all right and put same like like the username but this one the name is password and then id is equal to password and the type is not going to be text but password and if 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 we we'll take a look this 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 password input is hiding what we are typing and convert it to some circle but this is not some encrypted this is just hiding all right next we will have some c like this might be gender all right gender or maybe we can or maybe we can put something like radio button or all right we can put something like radio button and here we have the input first the input is going to be radio and the name is must be same or else it will be like separated like for example first we will make it same name gender and then value is going to be male and then and then all right and then we will give it some id id is equal is equal to male and after the input we will have some label the difference from before then before we put the label and then the input now we put the input and then the label right in here we will be put male and then male and we can and we can double it and then change it to female all right and then all right now let's take a look in the website and boom it's already it's already making some radio button all right the next thing is going to be um maybe something like select input all right the select is same as others but different the input the input is going to be the the input is going to be the select first we have the label or maybe we will make it as your preferred programming language or make it as path programming l so we don't have to fight that long and then in here favorite programming language all right and then we will have some select the select is going to have some name maybe the same just like this the name and the id all right inside of here we will have some we will have some option like the first maybe the php and and then html is going to be html i'm sorry and then c sharp is going to be c sharp all right let's take a look in the website and boom now this is nice all right the last thing we have to do is give this some button button i'm sorry 
button. Alright. The button is going to have some type equal to submit. But in this case, it won't work uh, or it won't uh, or it won't affect anything. But 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 we just added to just completed the form. Alright. In here, submit. Alright. Nice. Now that we have this nice form, but this form is just kind of like not styled. So we have to so we have to make the view to be better with using this table. And if you are remember, if any if you are remember before before we are going to make this form, I said that we are going to style this form using the table. All right. Now let's do this. All right. What we have to do is we're going to make the table, and inside of this table we will have some tr, and we will make this tr as the as the as the field is it, it is. We have one, two, three, and four. All right. We will make it four. One, two, three, four. Inside of this, we will have two TD, TD, and then two. All right, and we, what we what we will have to do is move this is move this one by one. I was I will I'm gonna make this like that and like this, so we are easy to move it. All right. Let's first move the username to the top. By the way, I use Alt, use Alt, and then the key, and then the arrow key and down, up and down. Right. First one is the username, and then the input. Sorry. And then the input. All right. The next is going to be the password. Alright, and then the input. Alright, next thing is going to be the gender, and then two of these. Alright, we will save it first. Um, and the next thing is going to be, and then we will move the favorite programming language select and king about. We can choose between female or male, and then PHP, and then now we can submit it. All right. Now that is done. Okay. Let's make a simple project with this, with some, with some, uh, with some this of of the knowledge that you are already know. All right. I'm gonna comment this out, and then I will comment this out, and then this one. All right, let's make some simple project. Like for example, we will have some table, or we can copy and paste it from here. Where? From here. All right, we will copy. All right, copy it from it. Copy it from there, and then paste it here. Rephrase, all right. This will, and then, and then, we will show we will show some of the programming language there is available for for the select input. First, we have this PHP, HTML, C sharp, C plus plus. Um. All right. All right, and we can also make the make the image to in the in the center of this TD. We can select style and then text align equal to center. All right, let's see how it looks. And boom, now the image is in the center of of this column. All right. Next, we will have some more. Like for example, Ruby. 
Okay. And then maybe there was a backpack. Programming language. Language. Alright. Now we see in the website. Nice. And then we will have some. Maybe we will have some kind of kind of a uh, image banner. We can like image and then source image dot cpg right net width is equal to one hundred percent, but the height is just some is just some one hundred and fifteen and fifty pixels. All right. Now let's see how it looks. And as I and I, as I projected, it will be stretched, but don't worry. You can use whatever image for the banner. Next, or maybe we can change it to two hundred, or make it at least better. All right. And maybe wait a second. All right. And below this table, we will have some form. We will make some form, and then action is going to be null. And inside of this form, we can copy and paste the table in here. Copy and paste. We'll copy and paste it here, I think. And then we change the we change this one. It's going to be the same as the table. First, we have PHP. HTML, C++, and then Ruby. Right, PHP, HTML, C Sharp, C++, and Ruby. C++, and Ruby. Alright. C++, sorry, this is uppercase, and then Ruby. Alright, let's see how it looks nice but maybe we should give it some br i will give it two right refresh it nice um all right let's we make something like all right now the form is done we can style it more with some css all right I will make this table in the center of the of the page. We can use something like style is equal to to make the text in the center. We can use text align equal to center, and then we can make the margin is equal to auto. And if we take a look, wait a second. All right, I wrong. I I. I put the styles in the wrong place. It should be in this table. Alright. Let's we test it out. And boom. Now this is what we want. The next thing is going to be the form. Wait a second. Alright. For the form, we'll, we will be using something like this table is equal to style text align. But we don't have this text align. We don't have to add it. All we have to add is margin is equal to auto. And then the form is going to be style is equal to width. We will make it 50%. And then we will make the margin is equal to auto. And if we see in the website, now there is that. All we have to do is center it to center the submit button. Alright, I think we have to put this. I think we have to put this button in the table. Like this. Oh not not like that. Maybe TR TR and then T D and then inside of this T D we will put that button submit 
and boom now this is done you can add some VR or give it some somehow all right now this is done maybe I can add maybe I can add some h1 h1 equal to form and then maybe we can give it style something text text align equal to center sorry not like this center all right i guess we'll press it boom now we have this nice table with the image and we have this all right i think that's it for the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video.